Alrighty guys, now you've identified if you've got a gopher, a vole, or a mole. Now it's time to go outside, find that mound, and set your trap. Fresh mounds, something like this. And there's three of them in a row, all popped up today. So this is where I'm gonna go. All right, so you found your mounds. I'm gonna start with this one on this end and work my way that way. I still use these. I was trying to get one of those um, black boxes that you just step on and click once, but nobody has one in stock. So I'm just gonna continue using these until I can order me one. And uh, so you just wanna probe the holes. This is his circle here. So this one, um, you can see right in here, um, the hole's probably gonna be around here somewhere. Going this way. All right. I had to dig up all three mounds. Um, those two, I could not find the hole, so he must have filled those completely in. But that's a pretty definite hole right there. It should be easy to get a trap in there. I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider so I can get my trap down in there further. Actually, it goes around this way a little bit. Looks like it turns right there. Oh, that's a double. I'm gonna go ahead and go further out here because of that. So I can see it real good. Okay, there we go. That's one tunnel. The other tunnel right there. But I got a tunnel going over that direction, and then there's one going over this direction. Okay, so I went and got my other trap um, since I got two holes. That's why these come in a two pack. But again, you just press this down, make sure this is up, right? This little piece is up. You press it down, and then it's going to catch on the end right there just right on the very end just a little bit and then you push it down with your thumb and stick in the uh, the trip plate to hold it all right so that's all you do is you press down on the middle hook it on the end here with this little lip right there and then latch this piece into your trip plate um, but I'm gonna set both in both directions since I have uh, two tunnels today Okay, push them down in there. Pretty far if you can. And same thing with this one. Just without hitting your little plate there though. You don't want to hit that plate or that'll set it off. Okay. The last thing is, is to uh, set your little stake here so nothing runs off with your traps. And then you just, uh, just wait a little bit. Um, I'm going to try leaving them open this time like I did in the original video. Uh, I just got this uh, shaded here so that there's some airflow and some stuff. So uh, we'll see if that works a little bit better. Um, they haven't been getting trapped lately. Because uh, I don't know if it's the cover or what this time. But we're going to try something different. And that's how it's done. Did you see them teeth on that thing? Well, now that you've caught him, all you want to do is press this down, release him back into the hole. I scoot him in there a little ways. Let the ants and the bugs have him. 
And that way my dog and cats don't come back over here and dig him all up because he's pretty far down there. And then you're all done. Wait for the next hole. It usually takes them a while. Like I said, I haven't seen any in a while in my yard, so I guess the pets are keeping them out.